There is no such thing as mistakes. Trust me when I say this. Everything is divinely connected. Everything, all the fragments of your life, all of these little moments, all of them will fit, piece together if you trust. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, yeah, this is kind of crazy. It's just another one of my things that I've manifested that I set my intention on, that I wanted, that I called in. And I'm going to walk you through it and then I'm going to review reveal to you what happened and pretty much where my head was at and what I wanted and how it kind of manifested. And the reason why I wanted to do this is because number one, you guys request it all the time. Just, Just tell, tell us the things that, things that you've manifested, kind of like a story time. And also number two, tell us how we can do this for ourselves. I don't even know where to begin to be quite honest with you, but basically for those of you guys who have been following my YouTube channel for a while, just trying to get my seat down. For those of you guys that have been following my YouTube channel for a while, you know that I just moved to New Orleans. And one of the reasons why I came down here was because I knew that the life that I was living in Philadelphia was a good one, but it wasn't one that was in alignment with what I saw for myself and what I wanted for myself. And I knew that the only place that I could do this was in the South. Now I had this full vision of what it is that I want for myself and that's a total you know story time for another video if you want to hear what it is that I'm trying to manifest for my future then by all means let me know but I am here at the right place at the right time New Orleans was the one spot where it would it, it allowed me to work my magic in a way that was distant and separate and then I wanted to work my magic in a different way now I'm a Virgo Virgo is ruled by Mercury Mercury rules communication word written and spoken and also it rules information and the sign that is of service to others my 10th house is ruled by Pisces the 10th house is career so this is all about occult and magic and all of these aspects together I knew that the next level for me and my life was to be able to write and to give people information so I wanted to manifest that aspect. I wanted to share my magic in a way that would have been perfect, meaning that I was giving you guys the most, but that also I would be able to do it in a way that it was packaged perfectly. And a Virgo, I love and I want and I strive for perfection. So that being said, I come to New Orleans and everything within me is asking me to be quiet. Everything within me is asking me to be still. So I respect it, I honor it. It doesn't make sense, but some things are not there to make sense right away in that moment and I have to, again, I have to respect that. So that's exactly what it is that I do and I tell you guys to do the same thing. That when the universe and when the cosmos are suggesting that you be quiet and that you be still, that that is exactly what it is that you do because when the water starts to still and you are are still that's when you're able to see and that's what it is that you know what to do next more than that what to ask for sometimes it's not so much what to do as much as it is I need to know what it is that I want what is it that I truly truly want for myself and that's how manifestation happens so that's what I needed for myself I had achieved all of these goals all of these bucket list things that I wanted for myself that I had set intention for that I worked my magic and that I then manifested now I got to this point where it was different and my life needed to be different and I needed to be different and I needed to receive something different but I just didn't know exactly what that was. I knew that I wanted to write, I knew that I was already writing, but I also wanted to publish a book. Yes, yes, yes. I wanted to publish a book. And I thought that if I was going to publish a book that it would probably be self-published. But then I realized that maybe if I self-published it, it probably wouldn't hit an audience in the right way, or maybe it wouldn't be packaged, meaning like the outside wouldn't reflect the quality of what was on the inside. So I kept hearing you guys being like, Jess, please write a book, Jess, please write a book, please write a book, please write a book. And I was like, yeah, I'm working on it, but I, so much of my focus was on the apothecary. I also came down to New Orleans and I wanted to write. So I set intention and I said, you know what, I want to do very good, like I want to be able to focus, I want to be able to give the most to the Sacred Circle Tarot School, which is the school that it is that I created, it's teaching people how to work with the tarot and how to study the tarot and then also how to be intuitive intuitively connected to it and intimately connected to it in the way that I am in the way that it also has served me I wanted to share that with others so I wanted to focus on that but I also wanted to focus on my writing and to publish and I knew as soon as I came to New Orleans that that somehow would manifest so I set the intention for it and I said I wanted to publish a book and I wanted that book to be about how to read the tarot and diving into the tarot because of course it only makes sense I had created the school I had created the sacred circle tarot school where I was creating videos and mentorship for those that 
had signed up and had had enrolled. So it will only make sense for as I was as I was focusing on the school that I would also be writing. Um, maybe it, it was like a week later after I worked my magic and it was just simple magic. It wasn't candle magic or anything else like that. It was just me writing it down, writing it in my journal, but first I needed to really know what it is that I wanted in detail. Tell me how I wrote it down and a week later, a week later, I get an email from someone and they're like, hey Jess, I'm blah, 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 blah from blah, blah, blah publishing company and we want, we're looking for someone to write a book about the tarot, an introduction to learning how to write the tarot. And I just sat back I crossed my arms and I thought about it. But you guys are probably like, Jess, what? What do you mean you crossed your arms and you thought about it? You know, Jess, isn't this everything that is that you asked for? Isn't this everything that you set intention for? Yes. But at the time, at the time, I was pulling the charts and everything was real quiet and everything was telling me to be still and that maybe, just maybe, I wasn't ready yet. Even though what it was that I asked for had just materialized in front of my face, I also needed to receive the sign, the signal from the universe, from my angels, from my guides, that the answer was a clear yes. Long story short, I said no to it. <laughs> I actually said no, no to it right away. And then a few months later, it just kept sitting in my head like a little worm, like a little worm. And I reached out to them months later and maybe like two months later or maybe a month and a half. I can't remember now at this point. And it just was sitting, it was just something that I felt like I need to re-examine. And I reached back out to them and I just thought, you know, maybe there's no way that they would still have this project open because it's so awesome, it's so dope and the publishing company is great that they would have, by sure, they would have passed it on to someone else. I reached out to them and I said, look, I've been thinking about this and um, I think I'm ready. And I think that this is something that I would like to do for you guys and that it's totally in alignment with where I am at right now. Is this still open? And, and she's like, oh my God, yes. This is yours if you're still about it. If you're about it, we're about it, let's do this. It's crazy that this hasn't been picked up. This has your name written all over it. The moral of the story is, is that what I want you guys to receive from this is that I knew what it was that I wanted after I sat and I was still and I meditated on it. I didn't jump, I didn't react. I sat and I set my intention and I allowed it to present itself. The second thing that I want you guys to get is that it will actually manifest in full detail of exactly what it is that you want. Nothing is out of your reach. Nothing is out of your limit. Are you not working magic right now? Anything is possible. The third thing that I want you guys to get from this is that when you say yes to something, let it be a resounding yes. If at first you receive that message or at first something manifests and it doesn't feel right, just because you called it in doesn't mean that you have to say yes to it. You have to remember that you are essentially the shot caller of your life. You are the chosen one. You are the king and the queen of your kingdom, which means that even if people are presenting gifts to you, you can say yes to it or you can say no to it. You don't have to jump on it. And sometimes it is good to sit and to be still and to wait to see if it's a yes or a no. The fourth thing I want you guys to take from this is that what is for you has your name written all over it. Whether you know that your name is on it right now or whether it's something that you have no idea that the universe has in store for you, that you have no idea that the universe has a plan for you. Either way, your name is written in bold black Sharpie ink. And I'm pulling out a Sharpie right now. It's written in permanent black ink and it is for you to receive it. You'll know that it's for you to receive it because your spirit is calling it up. You'll know that it's for you to receive it because you're thinking about it. Even after you're just like, mm, I'm not sure, or I'm sitting on the fence, your, your brain, it's like a little worm sitting in your head, it's still thinking about it. And when that seed is planted, it's sometimes it takes a little time. Sometimes it takes a little time to root and to seed and then to grow, but as soon as you start feeling it again, it is yours and it's for you to call in and then say yes to it at the perfect time. There is no such thing as mistakes. Trust me when I say this. Everything is divinely connected. Everything, all the fragments of your life, all of these little moments, all of them will fit and, and piece together if you trust. Well, it's not even if you trust. It's going to happen regardless, but it will happen without the anxiety. It will happen without the tension. It will happen without all the drama if you allow yourself to float and to be carried in the direction of where it is that you're me meant to go, in the direction that it is that you're destined to go. The desires of your heart are written there in permanent ink by the divine, 
and the moment you were born, you had a map that was given to you, and that's your astrology chart, your natal chart, and it kind of unfolds and reveals to you everything that you need to know in order to help you to hit these points, in order to help you to reach your destiny, and these certain things that are written for you in the stars that you can see on this compass which and this map, which is your, your astrology chart. So when timing is right and when the cycle is complete, that is when it will manifest. So you'll have these feelings within you that will speak to you and tell you, okay, now's my time to ask for this. If you're thinking about love and you can't stop thinking about love, it's because now is the time for you to focus on that. Either focus on the healing to prepare you or to focus on knowing exactly what it is that you want and calling it in or maybe to be out and about because there's a spot in you that is once was filled is now empty and now needs to be filled again. The same thing is true with your career. The same thing is true with your health. The same thing is true with travel and adventure and exploration and studying and knowledge. Whatever it is, the sky is the limit. Whatever it is that you're feeling now, all you have to do is know what it is, set the intention, and then call it in and you will receive it. So in a nutshell, it took, on average, it takes me about under a month to manifest anything that it is that I'm asking for. Mark my words on that. I'm not lying about that. My entire life is not luck. Everyone will look at my Instagram or look at my story and you know listen to me talk and be like, Jess, you're so lucky. I'm not lucky. I set the intention for it. I prayed over it. I talked to the divine. I talked to myself. And then a, a week later, a few days later, a month later, max, it manifests. Everything around me is something that was manifested because I wanted it. From New Orleans to my relationships, to my apartments, to my dog, to travel, to my business, to everything. Everything was something that it was that I, I knew that it is that I wanted, that I set intention for, and then shortly after it manifested. I teach my friends this and it works for them. I teach people that I don't even know on the internet and it works for them time and time and time and time and time again. I teach my family this and the one thing that blocks it is your own doubt and your inability to know what it is that you want and then the second thing is to actually call it in. All you need to know is know that anything can happen and just by speaking it out there and writing it down, it will manifest using candle magic or written word or um, prayer or whatever it is that works for you. All right, so that being said, that's my story time. I know it's a little wordy, but I wanted to give it to you and I wanted to give it to you good. Don't doubt yourself, don't doubt what can happen and literally the sky is the limit and everything can be yours. I'll see you in my next video, bye.